Hi everybody, John Costa again here at the Documentary Media Centre in Leicester in the UK. Um, hope you're all having a good week. It should be Friday that you're looking at this now. This is our third and final film for March Media Madness, getting you ready for your video blog and your submission to the Sustainable Development Goal Film Festival. I hope everything, everybody's getting on okay. So let's have a quick review of what we did. Um, for the first film, we were looking at our Sustainable Development Goals, which one of the 17 that we were thinking about, anything we knew, uh, any prior knowledge of, any research that you've done, okay? And what I was trying to get you to do was to pick three, okay? You remember, we've gone from 17 down to, to three, and I want you to look at the four Cs. So we're gonna do some critical thinking about each of the three, um, who, what, why, where, and when. Um, then a little bit about creativity, what could you do? What did you have around you that you could use? Um, Communication, what was the best way to communicate the message that you wanted to get across about that sustainable development goal? Remember we were looking at magazines, filming over people's shoulders when they were looking at uh, YouTube channels or looking on their laptop. And then finally, who you, could you collaborate with? Who was around you? Who could you talk to? Who could you connect with online, maybe through Zoom, to help you make your film about that, okay? So hopefully when you're watching this, Friday morning, you've picked three of your SDGs. And what we need to do now is get those three down to one. And this is the one that we're going to concentrate and focus on. Okay. So a bit like the four C's, I'm going to give you something else to think about now. The final, the final run through, if you like. Yeah. And this is spec and MIT. Okay. So spec is skills, plan, equipment, and the question. And MIT stands for most important thing. So let's run through those. So when you decide which one of those three you're going to go with, which gives you the opportunity to really demonstrate the skills that you've got or you've got the skill to do. Okay, we mentioned, remember before about, you know, if you've been sketching, um, if you're really into animation, if you're really good with like InDesign, um, if you're really into filmmaking or using your smartphone, you've got some really good apps that you could use, then do you have the skills to do a really good job with that particular SDG that you've selected, yeah? Then secondly, the plan. Does it give you an opportunity with that SDG to come up with a really simple, effective plan? One that's got a beginning and a middle and an end. Four or five minutes is not a long time really um, to get across what you want to uh, say to people about why you've picked that SDG, why it's important to you. Okay, so really having a very simple plan. Plan out each of the stages, <clears throat> maybe even doing a bit of storyboarding as well, what you're going to capture with all of your scenes. The more you plan, the better your video is going to be. Thirdly, equipment. Have you got the equipment that you need in order to do that? Now, if you've got a smartphone and access to a laptop, which hopefully all of you have, I'd say you've got the ability to be able to make yourself a really simple and effective film. This is where Professor Steve can give you uh, access to the YouTube channel to look at some of the other films that were made, not only by your colleagues at AUPP, but also uh, from the university in Indonesia and also the university in Thailand. Okay, so have a look at what other people have done, get some inspiration. Remember, you're looking at what other people do to kind of inform your own decision making. And then finally, question. You know, maybe it's worth setting a question at the beginning of your film, you know what I mean? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and answer this question by the end of my film through my research. Take people on that journey with you. Maybe make yourself part of the story. You might make that a little bit better. Uh, you might find it's much more interesting to do it that way. So maybe pose a question at the beginning and then go on that journey for four or five minutes. Can you answer it at the end? And the final thing, what is the most important thing? The most important thing yeah, is that you enjoy it. Yeah? It should be fun. Um, then you'll find it's not so much of a challenge. Uh, you'll get more out of it. Also look at it from this perspective. It's a portfolio piece that you've created for when you leave AUPP as well. What you want to do is demonstrate to someone what it is that you're passionate about maybe when you're doing a job interview or you're applying for a master's course, yeah, or you set up and work for your own business, okay? So, spec and MIT, skills, plan, equipment, question, and what's the most important thing? Let's enjoy ourselves, okay? Hopefully you've enjoyed these three short films. Um, wish I could be there with you, but COVID-19 put laid to those plans, so through the use of little films on YouTube, um, it's great, and I look forward to seeing all of your submissions for the SDG Film Festival later in the year. Thanks very much.